So it's with great regret that I bring this uh, final instalment um, of Project Ken. Um, look, it's been a while and I've probably put it off um, trying to sort of how best to finish what has been an unsuccessful journey um, with my attempts at trying to change the lifestyle and behaviour of the homeless person being Ken. Um, what I found along the way has been something that I probably didn't encounter and yes, it's always been outlined as being um, a big issue with um, street people or homeless people, whichever way you want to look at it, um, in as much as mental health and mental illness. Um, a lot of people that I deal with on an everyday basis, you know, may suffer from cortisol, adrenal burnout, all that sort of stuff. No doubt I deal with a lot of clients that uh, go through anxiety, depression uh, and things of that nature. Um, but when you're moving into a sphere of, um, uh, as I perceive to be the case with Ken, uh, Ken seems to have a lot of issues with regards to potential, uh, be it schizophrenia, bipolar. Um, he's just probably not that well sane in regards to a lot of his uh, ramblings and and just constant messages that he keeps feeding back to me. Uh, there's been a lot of inconsistency with a lot of his stories that he conveys um, and ultimately along the way I've realised I've punched above my weight and um, probably uh, underestimated the, the importance of someone professionally qualified to deal in, um, in dealing with this type of person. Um, the other element that took away from that also is more just on a personal level, um, just unfortunately how racist uh, Ken is and was, and therefore, which took away a lot of my desire to actually want to help him, um, in as much that's just, yeah, you want to help people that are nice people, uh, you want to help people that deserve to be helped. Um, but unfortunately, I just found myself in a scenario that clearly I wasn't aware of his attitude, attitude towards um, some certain people, and uh, that didn't sit well with me. So when you look at, uh, did I fail this venture? Yes. Did I try to change someone's life for the better? Uh, most definitely. Do I like failing? No. So hence probably the delay in this final instalment. But um, meanwhile, all I can suggest, if, if you do know of anyone that may be homeless, um, my message is to, by all means, try and make some impact uh, by purchasing them some healthy food, um, have a chat, find out how you find things. But um, as a family man with um, two kids and a third on the way as well, um, I found myself in some scenarios that with speaking to him, anything could happen and I'd hate to put my uh, family um, potentially without a father for my kids and other things that, uh, you know, could be a reality. So, look, yes, I've failed with my efforts uh, with Project Ken, um, but I do urge everyone to, A, have more compassion and help any person that you see um, isn't doing well in life and could be helped by your assistance and two always try and look after people in every way you can in just an everyday nature let's just care for each other a little bit more i think it's a vital part of our life that's lacking and um, we all seem to be very focused on ourselves and our immediate position in this world um, but there's a lot to be given and uh, I must say I learn a lot about myself. Um, I've learned a lot about street and homeless people and um, all in all it's been a great learning experience for me in my journey.